Hi guys, it's Laree and welcome to my channel. This is a quick video showing you how to adjust your bobbin case for your bobbin tension. I'm gonna show you how to do this for your top loading home sewing machine and your front loading home sewing machine. Let's get started. After you have worked your bobbin case out of your top loading sewing machine, Take a look on the side of that case for a small vertical screw. As you can see, right here on the side is a little screw. So if you remember the saying, uh, lefty loosey, righty tighty, uh, that applies here. So the further you turn this screw to the left, it's going to loosen the tension. The further you turn it to the right, it's going to tighten the tension. Um, as you're trying to find your balance between the top and the bottom, move this slightly very slightly as you try to find that good balance. All right, now let's move on to the front loading bobbin. But before I do, if this video has been helping you so far, will you let me know by giving it a thumbs up? And also if you're here and you're not yet subscribed, if you would just take a moment and subscribe to this channel, uh, that would be awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the front loading bobbin. So I already have this done, but on, on the side of your bobbin case, um, you're gonna have this little screw right here on this sleeve is gonna be a little screw. So before I make any adjustments on this bobbin case, I take a permanent marker and I just mark the top, the bottom, and the sides of this screw. The other thing that I do is I mark on the screw itself. I put a little dot on the screw itself so I know by how much I've been turning this and I can get an idea of what is home base. This helps me keep track of how much I'm loosening or tightening my bobbin. So um, after you've done your test, your tension test to test your upper thread and your bobbin, um, I actually have an entire video where I show you and tell you all about bobbin tension and I show you how to test it. You can find that video somewhere up here. Um, so after you've done that and you determine that you need to either loosen this or tighten it, and I would suggest turning it no more than a quarter of the way, but really it's wise to just turn it between the two dots So like that, turn it between the two dots, pop it back in your sewing machine and see if that tension is good for you or if you need to continue adjusting. Um, and then of course you've marked your screw and you've marked the parameter um, of that screw so you can keep track of how much you are adjusting and turning this bobbin case. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a tip right here. Uh, first of all, your bobbin does not need to be adjusted often. And I will actually say, on one hand, set it and forget it. <laughs> so set your bobbin for the fabrics that you sew the most. If you typically sew quilting cottons or if you typically sew knit jerseys, set up your sewing machine, test your tension, and make sure it's good for those fabrics. Now, if you branch out and you do something different, such as a canvas, maybe you're making um, covers for your deck chairs outside and you're using a completely different fabric than what you use normally use then go ahead and test your tension for your upper and your lower thread for that fabric adjust it for that project and leave it there until you're finished if you have a front loading bobbin and you have two bobbin cases and you equally sew different types of fabrics that really sew best with different tensions I would um, even say to adjust one bobbin for one type of fabric that you sew the most and adjust the other bobbin for the other type of fabric that you tend to sew on your sewing machine. All right, guys, so that is it. That is how to adjust your bobbin case for your bobbin tension. Um, if you want to see that entire video where I completely discuss uh, tension, sewing machine tension, how to test it, all of those things, like I said, go ahead and check it out up here in the corner somewhere. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for joining me for this quick video and I hope to sew with you soon. Bye.